In our paper, From Shapes to Shapes, Inferring Shackle Shapes for Results of Sparkle Construct Queries, we tackle the problem of inferring a set of shackle shapes that hold over all result graphs of a Sparkle Construct Query. A Construct Query Q may take one of many different graphs as input and produces a corresponding output graph as its result. We also assume a given set of shapes as in, with respect to which all input graphs of Q are assumed to be valid. The sound algorithm we present in our work takes this set of input shapes, as well as the query, and produces a new set of shapes as out, with respect to which all output graphs are valid. Note how our approach is independent of any concrete input graph that was encountered or may be encountered in the future. The inferred output shapes hold for all possible output graphs produced by this query, as long as the respective input graph conforms to the input shapes. Let's look at a very simple example. This simple construct query filters all x that are instances of type person and all y that are instances of type agent. It builds a new graph consisting only of those x and y with the same type annotations. Let us also assume that we know about a single input shape SI1 stating that every person must always also be an agent. If we assume that all input graphs our query ever encounters must be valid according to this shape, we can deduce that all bindings of the variable x are a subset of all bindings of the variable y, because every instance of person is an instance of agent. Therefore, in all output graphs that can be constructed by this query over valid inputs, it still holds that a person must also be an agent. Our algorithm constructs the appropriate set of shapes, a single shape stating that a person must be an agent. Of course, output shapes are not always equal to or even a subset of input shapes. Entirely new shapes can arise due to the construct template, which may be different from the WHERE clause in more complex examples. Internally, we infer constraints expressed in description logics in order to relate possible inputs with outputs. To this end, we first define three different namespaces for input, WHERE clause and output, which are here indicated with subscripts and in different colors. Input checker shapes are translated to equivalent description logic axioms and the WHERE clause is translated to axioms as well. Here, variable names are expressed through axioms that are constrained by the expressions in the WHERE query. The subset relationship between bindings for variable x and y informally expressed before will arise as a subsumption relationship entailed by the constructed axioms. Similarly, axioms can be inferred for a construct template. Finally, for constructing the set of result shapes, candidate axioms can be enumerated and checked for entailment by the inferred axioms. In this particular case, person is subsumed by agent is entailed and the corresponding shape included in the output. For more details on the internals of our method, please see the full paper.